Okay, this company reached out to me and said they have the greatest flagpole mount for your hitch receiver on your pickup truck. So they sent me this unit here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, what comes in the box. I will have a link in the description of where you could buy it from. It's on Amazon. And I have the link in the video. I have another video where I show you how I made my own flag mount. But this one here is gonna be easier to break down. So if you go through car washes a lot or you go to low low ceiling heights and with your truck, this one you just pop two screws out, you take your flag out, you're good to go. The one that I made is more involved because then you gotta take the hitch out. So I'll show you what it looks like. This is what comes. These are the instructions. How to mount it, the angles of it. As you can see here, this doesn't stick out so far that when you go up a incline that you're bottoming out. So good thing. Here. So we have a box in a box. Gotta get no damage from shipping. What we got here? That's what you can get when you open it up. You have this piece in here that holds on to your flagpole. And it doesn't crush the flagpole in any way. And as you can see, it completely engulfs the flagpole. So you're getting tight pressure on here. If you see in here, you have a pin that guides the flagpole mount in place. Then you have this nut here. And this nut, when you screw it in, it pushes this pin in and it locks it in place. After you have your pole inserted all the way, you're gonna tighten it up with this one. And then you're gonna take the wing nut. And that's what locks it into place. This is heavy duty here. As you can see over here, you got good solid welds all around. And you got a good thick material here. So this thing is gonna last. Also, they thought of the idea that if you just make a complete set like this, when this sealed in, water goes down in here. And what happens when water hits metal? It rusts. So they left this open and water and everything could just drain right out without having no rust issues. Very good, well thought out flagpole mount. They sent this to mount to your receiver, which is a little too thick, so this ain't gonna go into my receiver on the truck. As you can see, this is a standard receiver pin, and this thing is oversized, so this won't be able to all go on. This is your extra flagpole mount bolt. So you're gonna have to have your Hitch pin. Huh? I have one. So as you can see, you have four holes here that determines how far in or out you mount your the mount. This is the furthest it goes out. There's the closest you could get to your truck. The closer, the better, in my opinion. You're gonna line up your holes. You're gonna take your pin, put it through, and lock it in, okay? You're gonna back your two pole mount bolts out as far as they go. Push your bracket in here that goes in, back all the way. You're gonna take your flagpole, drop it in all the way down, and you're gonna start screwing in the big bolt. Not your wing nut, just the big bolts, top and bottom. And what that's doing is moving this bracket in right here. And it's gonna hold on to it. As you can see, it wraps around it and it's not gonna crush your pole. So it's saving your pole at the same time. You feel a little pressure, go to the next one. A little pressure. Now you spin your wing nuts. This is what locks it in so it doesn't back out. Like I said, this is very well thought out. As you can see here, this pole is not moving anywhere. And I'm pulling on this thing as good as you can get, okay? I have mounted this piece on every single truck I have. And what this does, this doesn't come in the kit. You could buy it in any store, Amazon. It's called an anti-vibration bracket, okay? What you do is drop this U-bolt over, 
Okay? You're going to take this piece, put it up, through it. And what you're going to do now is tighten the bolts up on it. And when you tighten up these bolts, it makes it so this thing will not loosen up, vibrate, rattle, make noise, none of the such. And as you tighten this up, it locks it in. This is what you're going to end up with. Completely mounted. There's your bracket. I said this doesn't come with it, but it's useful to have because this thing you can... It's not going to move anymore or vibrate or bang around when you hit bumps. Make sure you lock these in completely, like I said, tight as you can go. Then you're going to tighten up your wing nuts on it as tight as this can go. This flag is not moving. It's not coming loose. Like I said, you have one solid steel piece inside that's shaped to wrap around the flag right here. And that thing will bite it down. Not damaging the pole whatsoever. So you're good to go. There's your overall look. Like I said, that's the standard flagpole from a house. And that's a three by five flag, in case you were wondering. Questions, comments, leave them below. I get back to everybody. God bless America. God bless you. Stay strong. We